wheat is a likes dry weather and this wheat has had over 40 inches of rain on it since the first of january so we've got everything in the world has, has come up with it and everything we've kept it pretty clean and everything like that but still uh, we've been fighting diseases and everything like that there is some good wheat but i feel like the mud i mean the the rain and all the diseases and things like that is is gonna gonna hurt we already have some wheat sprouting you know what I think sometimes people don't understand is a drought's awful but excess water is just as bad weather fa chooses I mean it, it favors disease uh, it favors fungus and um, when it's really wet it obviously sets up um, there's not really anything the farmer can do about that and I'm looking at the seeds um, and I'm kind of just trying to see what sets up there so um, we've got um, some sprouting here we've got some uh, it's called black point or black tip um, and then um, I, on some of the heads you can actually see fusarium head scab all of that affects the farmer greatly huge discounts on average Arkansas is looking at like a 50 to 55 bushel average that's what we typically look at um, this year a lot of the wheat I've seen it might would have started out at 60 bushels but we're probably down to 30 or 40 so um, it's huge discounts this year as no farmer you just do what you can do I mean in 2015, uh, these fields right here had corn on them. So it flooded out. I mean, it was corn was six foot tall. You know, we got it in early, beautiful corn. And we come in here and all with nothing but stubble left. So we planted it in soybeans right quick. And lo and behold, we had another flood. And, and the next month we had the same thing again. So we did the same thing again. We come back and then lo and behold, it drought struck it in. So we had two floods in a drought all in one year. 